Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Techno Buffalo. And yeah, new map is out and I'm totally excited to play. We have a brand new spawn that we've been teasing for quite a while. We have a Japanese theme. Uh, I think Ninja and I and Tanuchi came up with it. Maybe XCX. But yeah, we have this new Japanese style spawn. I'd love to show you guys. A uh, new logo that we've gone through a couple iterations to get to and very extensive highly detailed spawn that we'll go and take a look at so check the back spawn get down there and I as always I'm on creative just so I can show you guys things and yeah I usually just plant survival because survival is the most fun so the first thing I'll show you guys I guess the this is a little spawn platform spawn right on that block type backslash j and then looking at the logo the new logo yeah I think it looks more modern uh, we have the red clay to try to match this theme that we have kinda of dark and Japanese style I guess but over here to the right we have these nice destroyed looking paths and they lead up into all the places so here's the world portal so this one over here with Sean On's head goes to the portal room we have the one with my head to go to the end and then we have a wither skull for the nether. We don't for this map we didn't make a nether spawn and an end spawn. It just the one in the nether sends you to a fortress. And we have a very small world guard there. In the end it just sends you to an out open area. So don't be checking those out. Um, the poor room, uh, Tanucci and I made that one. I hope I'm saying his name right. I always seem to get it wrong. But yeah, this is it. He helped a ton on this map, and he's not even staff, but he's helped a lot. So this little opening area, no portals yet there. We'll probably add a mall portal or any staff things along these sides. And this is easily copyable, so we can just easily add on multiple sections. So right now, these little sections are the portals. So we can have a portal there, there, just all the way along. Uh, the back side we can't because that's the one we're going to remove and just push back further. We have also have, whoops, some portals below. And a nice little Zen Garden area back here. And the entire spawn is jungle biome. I think it should say jungle. I have such a hard time finding where it says it. There it is. It says the third line up says biome jungle. We use voxel to change it to jungle because it makes the grass look better. So we'll head back to spawn. And there we go, look back here. Uh, we'll go back this way this time. Right here we have the server rules, all 20 of them. I guess they added a few more. 21, thou shalt not exploit for an unfair advantage. Thou shalt follow after dark rules. After dark is a really fun thing. After dark rules means that you can curse, you can do anything you want, because we try to keep it fan. fan uh, family friendly but after I think 10 o'clock Eastern time that you can curse and we won't ban you or anything just not get too dirty but yeah there's that little area we have uh, here we have Agility's Ramen he also built that pagoda and that pagoda we'll go to that one next but you have Agility's Ramen right here we'll head that way later there's a little shack there's nothing really to it. Uh, we have a little spot showing where everything is. There's pool rooms that way, and chintoriums that way, and ammo shops that way. So next we'll head this way. And chintorium is there. That's the pagoda I made. It's a little bit different style than what these are. Um, this is kind of empty at the moment. It has some stuff, but it's not really filled out. So we'll probably do more with this later. But yeah, that's that. Uh, next, we'll head over to the Enchantorium. Actually, no, the pump station. This, we had to make this, so it's technically a pump station. It's just kind of empty. It has some furnaces going, a couple of those. Um, the reason we made it is because we have a little canal back here. And, whoops, looks like I can fly out there. And we wanted the water to flow down, so we needed a reason for the water to be high. So we had a little pump station for so it could float all down that way. And then this way is just blocked off. Oops. So next we'll hit over to the Enchantorium. 
This is the Pagoda I made. Uh, I wasn't going to have uh, XCX help me, but he got too busy. So, built it pretty much on my own. I think I had Tanucci and Science Swine help me decorate the insides. Uh, we have maps there, but they got they disappeared for some reason, so I'll have to fix that. We have a Apple computer with going to technobuffalo.com. Looks kind of cool when you're looking at it in the seat. Go to technobuffalo.com. Um, we have a little enchanting area there. It's one of my favorite designs, just all around the sides, and kind of decorated me to hire. Uh, lots of books everywhere. The map will be there soon, just haven't added it yet. And then up above, kind of just a lookout area. You see those, nothing up there. We have a chandelier in the middle, which Science Swan made, and we can peek out these windows. So next we'll head down, uh, check out Kiefer's Bridge, and then go back to the other side of Spawn. So down here, Kiefer made a bridge and tried to copy my design, which I have over there. But it's a really nice, diagonal bridges are quite hard to make, and I think he did a really good job with it. Heads over to this little island, and right here, we have a division, which, this is spawn, and this is builder spawn. Builder spawn means either your staff, and you can build here, or we have a new rank called builder vet, or spawn vet, which is a 50 block from here, about 50 blocks out that um, a special rank can build there only so they don't get griefed by new players and they don't have to worry about anything like that. So that's our new rank is going to be there. Um, I'll head back towards spawn and I'll be right back with you guys. And we made it back to spawn and next thing I'll show you guys is over this way. Uh, this is one of Kuiper's hidey holes. We used barrier blocks. You can see they light up whenever you select them. This is a creative only block so regular players cannot get it. And after a few seconds, they'll all start to disappear. But you have to try to find your way down there. And he has 10 hidey holes hidden throughout the map. And once you found all of them, you give Kai for the coordinates, and he'll put your head in his little area over there. So over the oh, and all these cherry trees. Uh, Podique, he's really good at making trees. I remember I used to help him fill in the uh, leaves. But he made this one, and then I made all the rest of the little ones around spawn, and I think Science Swine made that one, the big one for us. But yeah, nice looking cherry trees, I think. Over here, uh, this is what Ninja Slash made. Built this one over here, and made a little pond. Uh, I threw in all the paths, a little lighting. Uh, Julie made this little art, uh, walkway. It's kind of a, we're probably going to have a big town here. Looks like someone's already planning on something right there. It's kind of a weird thing. Someone's staff or has a builder rank. That's a little cool spot. But yeah, this is a... Uh, we're thinking most players are going to build here because it's pretty much plains and forest, which is prime building area. And then, yeah, we have this little pond there. We also have a path leading out this way, a small bridge, and then another area going that way. Uh, next, we'll go to the admin shop. I'll jump down right here. Admin shop is not set up yet. I'm hoping to do that later today or within the next few days. But it's right down here, admin shop. And there it is. Tanucci and I made this one. This was originally going to be the little buffalo spawn. But we decided last minute to change it. So instead, it's going to be the admin shop and we have all of the little areas to, ooh, that's kinda weird but we have all of the areas to put stuff we just need to add the items that we're gonna do and people come down here and be able to purchase things from the shop we're also needing to add hyper economy sometime but we cannot get that to work at the moment so over here we have uh, ninja's boardwalk I don't know there's like a bridge across here, but it also has this little floating area. We're not floating, it's on stilts, but it has this little area. Nothing inside it yet, maybe he'll add it later. But as right now, it's just something to add on more to spawn. And then I'll fly past this. At the end of here, I need to keep the path going. But, um, yeah, I need to work on that some time. But over here, another building spot. And the path leads up to there. So now I'll head to this side of spawn, which is where my base is. I'll head to that at the very end of the video. We have to go through Agility's Ramen, past this little bridge. Oh, and by the way, I made this little 
canal through here went through a ton of iterations so we go over here um, nice and zen garden looking and you go through this we have a bridge that way and over there you can kind of see the parts of my base I've been laying it out I think I had up until 1 in the morning last night building I was having so much fun on here I think Rad was on there too last night and that's all it's on right now yeah it's not prime time it's about 1 in the afternoon my time so about an hour or two there'll be tons of people on uh, down here there's a little secret thing that people can come check out and over here we have all of the staff. So we have Fast and Bulbous mod, XCX is the mod, Tally, our only SMOD agility. We have our developer Junior New Light, our admin Kiefer, admin Ninja, and admin Keegan. Let's see. Pod, it says he's an admin, but I think he's a admin, which is an honor honorary admin. But if not, I can always add him in here later to a post or whatever. Ooh. Rad just joined. Say hey to him. And I don't know if I was the admin last time, but I'm an admin now on the server, so I've been crazy busy setting up everything. We had about a month of downtime. The server just got corrupted, and tons of problems, and Spigot took forever to update, and yeah, long time. So over here is Kiefer's place, Rad's place, and then my place is just right around the corner. We'll check that out later. And we're calling this Karate Island off of Spongebob. Uh, Tanucci came up with it. I thought it was hilarious. But yeah, this is Karate Island. Newest spawn, and I think one of the best spawns. Put a lot of time into building it because we had so much time waiting for Spigot's update. Uh, so over here, uh, one more thing to show you before we go check out Little Buffalo spawns. That's what I'm thinking of going to next. Uh, these are the books of Seeking. Look at one real quick and put it back. But a little poem kind of, and it gives you hints of where things can be, and it pretty much tells you once you found all ten, send Kai for the coordinates, and he will put you down in here. So far, us four have found it. We found it before the server came. It was public, so we had a lot of time. Oh, we're gonna add armor stands here. Right now, we're having a problem with armor stands and spawn. Let's see if I can get one out real quick. To. Yeah, for some reason they're counted as mobs, and we have mobs spawning off in spawn, so we can't have those. So next, I'll meet you guys down in the little buffalo spawn, and I'll show you guys that. Okay, guys, we've made it to the little buffalo spawn, and here, this place was made by XEX completely, pretty much. I made the little trivia at the end, but it was majorly designed by XEX. Tally two two two. We gave him the project, but he kind of started it and then never really did anything, so we had to hand it to XEX. Uh, special thanks to Sean On. He is pretty much the reason the server is here. If we ever need anything, we contact him and he gets right on it. Uh, right now, the IP is kind of weird. We don't. It's not uh, minecraft.technobuffalo.com. Instead, it's like some 195.99.9, something like that. But we gotta get the port forwarded so that we can have it back to normal and hopefully get more players on once they had the original IP. Yeah, Sean's a huge help. He pays for the server, well, the company pays for the server, but he's a big backer of the server. And hopefully we can see him on eventually once CES is over. So here we have a lot of. This is kind of back to 1.2. We had an area similar to this. For the little buffalo spawn, so griefing will result in banning, so don't grief. Cut down the whole tree, you don't just leave floating trees. Uh, no spamming chat. Yeah, so don't do that. Um, if you want to claim a place, fence around it, or just make it look like it's your area. Do something that shows it's yours. Uh, we have a jail here. Actually, you can I can actually send people, I can do like a backslash jail, and I can send people to the jail, so little buffaloes can see the jailed people inside here uh, it's a, it looks it's the same blocks used for the 1.2 just updated like clay dark oak makes it a little fancier uh, telling people to lock their stuff up we were the three people who are building around here so that's why we have those on there uh, no ugly houses 
And yeah, no one by one towers. We won't ban one by one towers, but if they're just getting everywhere, we will get mad and yeah, especially if they're on purpose. Over here we have all the rules, except for 21 and 22. Uh, these are the basic rules. Uh, no X-raying. That's the thing we have some problems with. We can easily tell if, you, if people X-ray. Okay, so down here is where you start the questions. So, test your knowledge of the server. Um, where is griefing allowed? And you pick. If you put in the wild, you can go down here. Incorrect answer. And then you have to restart at the top on the fly up. So every time you get one wrong, you have to start from the very beginning. So it's no word at all. You go down here. Correct answer. How do you lock a chest? Place a sign with private on it. How do you become a buffalo? This is something that has changed from the beginning. It used to be build a house, then you call a smarter admin, but now it's play for 12 hours and you have $250. And then here's the end. You'll walk through this portal. It should send you to the original spawn. We have Sean's head there. And there you go. Back to spawn. So next, um, we'll head over towards my base, and I'll show you guys that. Okay, guys, we're just about there. Um, heading across this bridge. I um, forgot to show you guys this bridge fully last time, but this is... Um, kind of got inspiration just from Arcus's build on one point... Or Season 4 Minecraft, I think. Yeah, it's one of his bridges. It's similar design. And um, the reason we came up with this spawn theme is from the Fire UK build. They have a really nice Japanese. We couldn't, we don't have all the block selection they do, but I watched that and kind of gave me the idea for it. We originally were going to do a cool fact. We we're going to do a tree spawn, like everyone's, be like tree houses, but that kind of failed. So. Yeah, I guess I can see on creative mode. Um, down here is my mine. It goes all the way down to bedrock. It goes through three different um, ravines, which is really nice. Nice and starting me out. Um, here's all my stuff. I had a lot more diamonds, but I've been using diamonds to buy stone and cobblestone. Kind of a ripoff, but I need building supplies. I have this junk chest there. Wood, farming stuff, nether, and then stone. And then I have all my little animals right here. And the areas are kind of small. I think the cows are getting glitched into other pens. And each animal is like switching pens. So I need to make those bigger. But I just need enough now for some food and for later for when I actually make the real pens. So I don't think I've shown you guys. But I have most of the base built already on the previous creative map. Um, it's a pretty big base. This will... This has stairs leading up the sides, a little water fountain in the center. Uh, I, I just, I marked off the edges so that I know where to build, and also I clean the area so no one, yeah, as you can see, this is clearly someone's going to build here. So later on I'll have to terraform the area to make it look more natural, but right now I'm very, very low on dirt. But yeah, this is the basic layout for it. Uh, these pillars extend up to about the same height as these, and yeah, this is the main entrance here. Um, it's going to be called uh, Vega Summit. It's a mixture of my favorite builder, Nebris's builds. He had a place called Vega Sum. I'm calling it Vega Summit because of the mountains around it. And, well, the bottom, the bottom part of the base is going to look like his Vega Sum build, but up above is a different build of his, which I don't think I know the name of. It was on Feed the Beast, so I kind of edited the, the design from that. But it's going to be a fortress, and hopefully I will get more of it, like the shape of it for the next video, hopefully in another week or two, depending on how much time I have with college starting soon. But yeah, right now I've just got to collect lots and lots of blocks so I can start building it. I'm going to get this top section done first, and once I get that I can dig underground and start doing all of that. But that's that place. Um... We have Kaifer over here, and you see we have now leaving Spawn. Spawn is literally like two blocks. Where is it? Yeah, right there. Just barely past my base. So Kaifer has this weird diorite 
to build. I think it's diorite. Let's check real quick. How will I know? Yeah, it's diorite. People are calling it Doritos for some reason on here. Oh, there is King George. He lives right on top of his base. And over here we have Radeon 3, which is, I'd say, the head admin. But he kind of just plays when he has time. He's more of a honorary admin now. And yeah, that's him right there. He probably sees me flying. He's wondering what I'm doing. And yeah, that is our spawn. And next video, yeah, we'll get that ready. Uh, here's a quick flyover. I'll try to do um, record this with shaders. I get about 30 to 40 frames not recording, so I don't know how good it will be with recording. But we'll try that. Throw some at the beginning or end of the video. But thanks again, guys, for watching. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time.